My name is Hakeem Brown. Welcome to the 2021 commencement speech here on Pop City Culture. Let the commencement begin. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. Welcome to the most listened to international podcast around the world. Hakeem and Reggie Brown are two young African-American boys speaking the truth. This is Pop City Culture. Hey, hey what's up, everybody? Yo, it is going to be great today. You know, we got the commencement speech for 2021. And I'm going to introduce my brother, and then, you know, we're going, to, we're, going to, we're going to do our commencement speech for all you guys. Here we go. My brother, Hakeem Brown. Thank you, Reggie. So, yes, before we start, uh, my name is Hakeem Brown. I'm 13 years old. And I'm Reggie Brown. I'm his younger brother, the other star of the show. I want to thank everyone listening and who will listen, family, friends, and everyone. It is an honor to speak to you. And because this is a commencement speech where only one person can really talk, I'm probably going to be doing most of the talking. Man, are you serious? Is this your way of saying you're going to be taking up all the sound bites? Okay, like, Reggie, I ain't even going to okay. be able to talk? You can this probably is... say some words, too, I Good. guess, you know, if you want to hop in there. Man, of course I want to hop in there and say something. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know? My, so, my voice matters, too. Anybody who's, who don't know us, um, we are the hosts of Pop City Culture, and international podcast which goes all over the world and uh, people say you know not only are we podcasters but we're influencers entrepreneurs but yes we are kids and you know our ages now uh, we started a year ago and it has been a ride we started it because of covid you know when covid started we were home and we we didn't really have much to do we and we figured you know we'd have an underground yep podcast our dad didn't really know about it <laughs> no, he <And> didn't. <laughs> our grandmother did because we live with her we used to be you know our, our parents had gotten divorced um we live with our grandmother and uh you know we are in the heart of the ghetto as my brother likes to say man it ain't what i say it's a fact man we in the ghetto but we pulling ourselves up man you know what i'm saying so my boost that strap. being said you know who we are um we we want to give you some words of encouragement in life and give you a little bit of wisdom from our point of view. Because we got a lot of wisdom to give you guys. Yes, that's right. Kids do have wisdom. Yes, we do. A whole bunch of well. times a million. And we all know this. Yep. I mean, you know, kids, we invent a lot of things. You know what we invent? Fun, man. We, um, we invent fun. Reggie? And we invent a whole lot of fun and manga. Yeah, Reggie, we invent <laughs> you fun. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, we do watch a lot of manga. And we are always on our phones. So that being said, you know, I want to say one thing. I'm very proud of everybody here who has graduated and are, well, are about to. You're going to be getting your diplomas. And you should know that life is a journey. And this is just the beginning. Now, in life, you know, it's like a road. It, it's the path you chose, you know. And you being here in college shows you chose a path that you wanted mm -hmm. to walk. That's right, because the path to education is a very long path. And you guys did. And I know it was real long. <laughs> Probably staying up at night eating pizza and having soda and stuff. Know and, what I'm saying? Yes, it has been very long. That's what I just said. And it's been a struggle. I'm, I'm, I'm sure everybody here has been up at night. You know, I was trying to study for a test or before a test, and you guys get pizza. Man, are you kidding me? Why you do this all the time? You be you be biting off my words. I, I said that. I said that. Man, whatever. Just, just go on, man. Just go Pizza's on. Pizza is like probably the number one food when you go to college. Everybody knows. This is what I hear. You know, we you know we have a you know we have a friend as Doria. She she t sometimes comes on our show. That's right. She comes on our show. I'm gonna have to tell you. I I, I, I I'm sorry. I got kind of, but she's gonna be my future wife. <laughs> Anyways, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Um, she just graduated with a master's, and uh, Maya Sin, uh, she graduated with a bachelor's. So you know they always talk about what college was like, and they they say they they survived. But you guys are all survivors. You survived. The many years of college, whether it took you four years, maybe a little bit longer, you guys survived and you did a great job and you never quit. And, and that's the whole point. You know, in life, you really don't want to quit because, you know, our dad always says, you know, quitters never win and winners never quit. That being said, you know, there's a path ahead of you and that path is called life. And it will be a long path because you're going to live a long time, but it can go 
in a blink of an eye. You'd be surprised at how fast time does go. Yeah, time sure does go by fast, like a blink of an eye. That being said, you got you want to savor every every minute of it. You know, because Because these basically are the moments you guys have to treasure. You ain't never going to get this time back again. We ain't going to be young like this again. These are great memories, guys. You got to remember that. And, you know, in life, there are going to be times, unfortunately, where where you will struggle. You know, there's going to be hard times. Nothing in life is perfect. It's going to have its ups and downs. That's just the way it is. That's what life is. Life is unpredictable. But that being said, you will survive. Because you've survived here in college and universities. And other kids have survived high schools. And it will make you stronger. I mean, you, you can't get any weaker. You can only get stronger. You can learn from every aspect of your life. And by you being here, you have shown strength just by graduating. Yep, you completed something and that's real commendable. Now the thing is. Well, what's the thing? You have also finished something. And that really says a lot. Some people start something and they never finish. This can be a common thing Mm -hmm. in life. A real common thing. And we notice that. Our dad always says, if you start something, you got to finish it. That's just how life is. But you always want to finish whatever you start. Just so you know, bro, you did cut me off yet again. That's that's one of the big things, you know. You don't want to be a quitter, you know. And if you have goals, try to reach for your goals. Goals and goals are great. Set your goals high. In fact, you should be setting your goals so high. You don't reach them. But it doesn't matter if you reach them. As long as you get halfway or just a little bit more, you, you've achieved a great deal. These are your goals. And goals are very important. If you have no goals in life, then you don't really have a direction. You need to have a direction. You need to have those goals. You know, that, that's just what goals are. The truth is, though, the honest truth, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Tomorrow is unpredictable. If life was that easy, it would be easy for everybody, but it's not. We, we all struggle. I don't want to sound like a downer. Well, sometimes you do, so just keep it real, you know? But the bottom line is... What's the bottom line? You no, know, life, life is a struggle. Really? And that being a struggle when you do survive and you will succeed... You will have accomplished a lot and you'll be taking all those experiences with you. So, like I said, you'll struggle and failure is inevitable. You have to learn from it. Let me tell you a story about Thomas Edison. Everybody here knows Thomas Edison. Edison's my man, man. He invented like the wheel. Reggie, you don't know who Thomas Edison is. Yes, I do. He's the guy who invented the light bulb. Oh, that's what I said, right? Okay, so uh, Reggie. Man, I I could have sworn I said it. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Reggie, are you listening? Reggie, are you Reggie? Are yes. you listening? Yes, I'm listening. Okay, so here's a story of Thomas Edison. He wanted to invent the light bulb, so he did. And when he finally succeeded, from what I understand, there was a reporter who asked him, "Well, Mr. Edison, how's it feel to have failed over a thousand times trying to make a light bulb? You're a failure." Thomas Edison responded by saying, um, I didn't fail over a thousand times. I learned how not to make a light bulb over a thousand times. So in that aspect, everyone, you must know something. You can look at a failure if you want to choose a failure as a failure, but it's, it's experience. And if you take a failure and say, listen, it's not a failure. I learned how not to do something. I learned how to do something better. And it may take you a couple of times, it took Thomas Edison a thousand times. But look at the result. The result of what he did over 100 years ago to give light to the world. I mean, that's amazing. Yo, man, I don't think it was 100 years ago. Okay, Reggie, I don't know if it was 100 years man, ago, but I'm just saying, back, you don't have man. to nitpick every little thing well, I you said. You nitpick my stuff. <laughs> okay. You know? But anyways. What? You know, be the person who follows your dreams. Follow your dreams. A lot of people don't follow their dreams. The only dreams they have are the ones they dream at night. And when you wake up, those dreams are gone. You don't want to be that person who just dreams when you close your eyes, when you're not really thinking, but these hopes and desires flow in your head. You want to be the person who follows your dreams, who wakes up and says, this was my dream, and I'm going to follow it. So in life, you should also take risks. No one else dared. 
you have to take risk. If you if you don't take risk in life, you know, is is it really living? No, I'm not saying do something stupid like jump off a jump off a bridge without a parachute or something. I, I don't know. What I'm saying is, you know, common sense risk. You know, risk that can make you a better person. You know, Steve Jobs, he um, he he made the Apple computer. Very very successful guy. What happened was he wanted to make a color monitor. And somebody told him it's impossible. You know, there's going to be a lot of people in life who will tell you there's no way you can do the impossible. But he did it. And he, he made the color monitor. And we use that today. Who would have thought if it wasn't for Steve Jobs taking a risk, having a dream, we would never be using the computers we have today. It is so amazing what we can do because of the dreamers in the world. Because of the dreamers, that's right. That's right. I and mean, you know we do need dreamers in this world for our future. Reggie, are you a dreamer? Of course, man, I'm a dreamer, man. I'm an inspirer, man. I'm a trendsetter, a socialite. Well, let me you tell know? you about another dreamer. Okay, go on, go on. Um, there were these two brothers, and they wanted to fly. People said if man was meant to fly, he would have wings. Well, these two brothers said, you know, I don't think we need wings to fly like that. Well, they went and created the airplane. Orville and Wilbur Wright, they followed their dreams, their passion. They had a passion, dream, and they fulfilled it. Today we have so many airplanes in the air. Because of them, because of their dream, they inspired others. You, you, everybody here, you guys can inspire. This is why you're here. You not only are graduating, but you're graduating into a world where people can inspire and help other people out. We know this guy, Price Van Ray. He produces the Pop City Culture Podcast. Shout out to Price. You know, I don't know if anybody knows this. He grew up stuttering. He had a learning disability. He graduated, though. Graduated high school. He went on and graduated with an associate's and a bachelor's. He went to Disney University and got a doctorate degree in studio production. And, you know, that, that, that's what it's called, a doctorate. See, at Disney... They call masters, mousters, and doctorates, doctorates. It's, it's sort of funny. But, you know, he wanted to follow his dream after after Disney University, where he was offered a job, and he wanted to write children's books. And now he writes children's books that are all over the world. He produces this podcast. He's a YouTuber and uh, produces the Pop City Culture, which is an international podcast all over the world. Who would have thought Price Man Ray would have done something like this? He also graduated uh, UMass, which is something he's very proud of. You know, I, and uh, he always says something that, that always stuck with us. The only limits you have in life are the limits you put on yourself. That's right. Do you have limits, Reggie? Man, I'm going to tell you, man. Like, I, I, I don't put limits That's on it. myself. So, you know? In life, you have to find out who you are. You have to find out what makes you happy. You have to figure out your dreams. Reach your goals and grab your future. And success will be there for you. This is true. And that sort of brings us to the end of what I had to say, which leads us to what, Reggie? The words of wisdom. (laughs) All right, my brother, take it away. Life is a road that leads you into many directions. There are many ways to reach your goals, but in the end, you want to reach that destination. You want to be happy and successful no matter what you do. No one wakes up and says, I want to fail in life. You are here graduating because you dared to be different. You took that chance, that dream. You are the dreamers. You are the doers. You are the ones who will make a difference, not only in your life, but everyone else's. But in the end of the road, there will be pitfalls and failures. I'm sorry to say. That's what we call life. When that happens, remember, you are not a quitter. You are destined for much more. You are on the road of life. Not to sit there and watch others pass you by, but you are in control. You are in the driver's seat. You will succeed no matter what obstacles come in your way. Remember this and never forget it. Without you, there are no dreams. 
So dream big and take chances and dare to be different. To the class of 2021, I want to congratulate you and all your hard work. The future is yours. Now grab it. My name is Hakeem Brown, and I'm here with my brother. Reggie Brown. Reggie, the younger brother. And we just want to thank you thank for you listening all. to our commencement speech. Thank you very much, everybody. Congratulations, class of 20. Congratulations. You did it. Yeah, man, you guys did it. You guys are the boom diggity. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2021. You did it. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe so you're notified when a new podcast is posted. Rate and review this podcast and share it with your family and friends. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you're leaving with something that makes you think. Until next time, everybody, peace. Now that y'all graduated, go reach for the stars. There ain't no limits to it, (laughs) y'all. All right. See you later, and congratulations.